Welcome to Geeky Stuff, and this is my review of the Tech Class T-Book 10S. On the edge of the tablet, you have your speaker grill, which is then followed by the power port to charge and power the tablet, then a mini HDMI, then a micro USB port, micro SD slot, and a 3.5 mil jack for headphones. And to the right of that, you'll also see a powered stylus. That can also be charged with using a micro USB cable that you actually get with the tablet itself. So this is a Intel quad core CPU tablet with four gigabytes of RAM and uh, 64 gigabytes of storage. The battery is 5,800 milliamps and I managed to get a good five hours uh, usage out of this before having to charge it. You can also charge this through the micro USB port as well as the, the DC port you have on the tablet as well. So it comes with Windows 10 pre-installed, uh, fully activated, and I've updated it to the latest uh, version with all the latest updates. Also installed a Microsoft Office package. Word, I've been using Word as well. Word processing is absolutely fine. That opened up super quick, as you could see. It'd be great if we had a, um, a keyboard to really fully test the, uh, the word processing to fully test the word processing capabilities, but um, it has been absolutely fine. Got PowerPoint there as well, guys. Again, super fast. And this pen, as you can see, works an absolute dream as well. Let's search for Excel. Open that one up. Again, bang, opened up again. Let's minimize that. So we have a few apps open there. Long press on the bar there, task manager. And let's have a look at some of the resources that are being used. So at the moment, 52% memory running with them apps open. Now you can also plug in uh, Bluetooth mice and Bluetooth keyboards even with a Bluetooth dongle that I've got here. Uh, it's like OTG, so I can use the micro USB slot in the side. So that's in there with the Bluetooth dongle on the end. I have my mouse here, let's turn the mouse on. And there we go, Look, you can see the cursor moving around right there. So you do have the option of using a mouse it just makes things a little bit easier uh, to navigate. So I managed to install Photoshop. Let's open this up right now. Let's create a new file. That's a default Photoshop size. Create the document. Uh, one of the downsides or one of the disappointing things I found is that the pen doesn't actually work on this bit here on this screen. It works uh, on the side down here where the tools are. I turn it on so I can select all the tools that I want but it doesn't work on there it's something to do with the drivers apparently I've tried to uh, uh, make it work but it won't work at all that all that rest work there but not that so that's why I've got this mouse connected so then you can do all your drawings or whatever and shapes and they'll work absolutely fine so but i'm pretty sure this uh, tablet would be able to handle just 
the basic sort of Photoshop editing. Um, but when multiple layers come into it, it may sort of struggle a little bit. But there's Photoshop guys that is running as well as the office programs are running. Let's open task manager up. 78% memory. Okay, let me show you the Android side to this tablet. If we click the switch OS. So we've now booted into Android. Anyway, and let me show you Asphalt 8. The test of all tests. A bit more volume. The volume is quite loud on this tablet, guys. A bit tinny though. Whoa. Oh, sweet. The tablet seems to be handling this game okay. Oh, early. Oh, shit. Oh, what a bummer. Shutting down. Okay, well that will conclude my review, guys. So guys, for £130 you can get this Teclast tablet and then for another £30 you can get the keyboard to dock at the bottom which uh, with a keyboard it will make this tablet extra special. Um, it can handle Photoshop, the basic editing, it can handle uh, spreadsheets, uh, word processing absolutely fine as well and browsing the web, surfing the web. You've also got the option of Android if you want to do a bit of gaming, I just showed you then Asphalt. 8 and any other sort of games that normally run on Android will run, run absolutely fine on this as well. Battery life up to around about 5 hours, which is great. So, And you also get this fancy little pen, which um, does come in handy. Very accurate and responsive, and it's also powered as well, so you can keep that charged. And that's it. So if you have any questions, guys, about the tablet, then please comment below. If you found the video helpful, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.